Right, so we're going to start off the day with this vice that arrived hanging out of the packet. You're not going to see that until the next video, but, you know, I'm waiting on paint for that fire damage vice. It's a long story. So, uh, this one arrived separate. This ain't the one that's fire damaged, right? This is another one. So, this is a video about some tall arrivals, me tall walls, and some general bloody lemsip cold induced waffling. If you make it through to the end, give yourself a star. There's the vice. Look, I've just I've just done all this once, but I forgot the bush record. And I don't never know till the screen goes off. But here we are. This is the damage hanging out that box. Look. Uh, if I wanted that painted in blue, I'd have to repaint that. It's a very unimaginative colour. That's just record blue. They never come in record blue, they come in red. But we'll change that to oil rubbed bronze. Right, so through the post today I got this tatty old hammer. You may think tatty old hammer. 13 quid that was, but it's a Garanton half pound ball peen hammer. Now, I got it because I've got a Garanton one pound ball peen hammer. This is a military mark 1951. Right, so a nice pair there. I sit indoors, I go on eBay, I think, oh, Garrett and Hammer, small one, I ain't got one then, I'll buy that, so I bought it. Same with this one, I thought, Garrett and one pound hammer, I ain't got one, I'll buy that. And unfortunately, I've done it again there, look, yeah, that's a Garrett and, see if it's, what's the number on the top, 12, 1201, no, it's heads on upside down, 1201, yeah, and it's got a military mark again. 1951, so that's how it matches the uh, little one over there. So that's two pound hammers. Anyway, I sat there thinking, oh, Garrett and Hammer, I ain't got one of them. Uh, that's a Garrett and one pound hammer. But this one has got the addition of having Garrett's just left on the handle. So that is my best one. All right. Good, isn't it, when you've got so many one pound Garrett and Hammers you got? One for best. Right, anyway, so that's that. Alright, so that was 13 quid. That was the dearest little hammer I bought for a long while. But I'm happy now because I've got a half pound and a pound. Maybe there's a two pound. Who knows? I'll just buy another seven pound one. So, right. This was four quid and I got it. it it's, it's advertised as uh, seized up, so I understand that. That down here says patent applied for. Yeah. But according to Ben, they should have a separate jaw on this to turn it into a uh, little pipe wrench. Well, I've never had one with a thingy on, hinge bit on, so that's nice. So a little bit different. I'll give that a free up. Now, where's the... Uh, there he is. There's the Elliot Lucas logo. This side, I don't think it had another... It might have had another one. Yeah, could have done. Maybe that's how the hinge works. So the hinges sit on both of them. And uh, be another hinge across there and the jaw will be flexible. Maybe Ben's got one he can show us. Because I certainly haven't. Right. So that's half a spanner. Anyway, I'll clean that up. It's nice and small. I've got a bigger one of them. Much bigger one of them. These, I think, are coming 90s, 91, 92, 93, 94, and 95s. The 95s are humongous compared to this. So look, that's, uh, that's as big as me. Not even as big as half my finger. I'm going to chuck that in the bucket of, yeah, 18 pounds. We've got this little one, right, which is a two specs to get. Oh, sorry, I've got a bit of a cold. It's not COVID, it's just a normal cold. Right, it's a Wilkinson. Yeah, and then this one here is also a Wilkinson. So I'll get them back out on eBay in a pair. They are normal uh, gas plier, you know. One side's a screwdriver, one side's a, a, a deburrer. Same with that one. So I'll get them out. Nice little couple set. And then I've got this one here come in the same package. Right, so it's eighteen pounds getting better because I've got three now, haven't I? And uh, where is he? I can't. I can't see with this. There he is. Right. Elliot Lucas, look, 1945, and the military marking. So, just the end of the war there. 
Yeah, so that's quite nice. They might get some. I don't know if I've got any. If I ain't got none, I've got to keep them. But here to me, I can sell all them free. I don't care. I, I, I've got a collection of little Lucas going, so I'll probably keep it if I ain't got one. And I can't remember if I've sent Resto one. Anyway, here's the here's the price of this bundle of four for eighteen quid. It's a little pair of Elliot Lucas. Now, the uh, the the thing with these, right? Is Elliot Lucas went into Talkit, and I'm going to put a picture up now of the Talkit. There we are. And uh, this Talkit's quite specific. This is a Rolls Royce. This is a, this is from a 1936 Rolls Royce Talkit. And as you can see highlighted there, there is a pair of um, these gas plies. I guess it's for radiator pipes, and they had more pipes in them days, didn't they? Perhaps in 1936 they were still running cars on steam. I don't know because I weren't there. But this little pair here, this is the pair, right? This is the pair that I wanted. Now you look at them. They are they are about eight inches long. They're about seven. They're about seven inches long actually, right? And we're going to zoom in close because I guarantee none of you, apart from one of you, because one of you was saying in the comments, I've got a pair of them. I've got to clean them. I've seen a pair of these. So these come from a Rolls Royce toolkit, right? I've established that. Well, you may not believe me, but these didn't come from any old Rolls Royce toolkit. These come from a car specially commissioned uh, by Cadbury's, the chocolate people, for uh, as a Rolls Royce. A Rolls Royce commissioned by Cadbury's. How do I know this? Because they're out of a Rolls Royce toolkit. Talk I just showed you that. But if you look where it says Elliot Lucas, if we, if we turn that round that way, look, you can see written across there. Can we see that? It's the word. You can see written across the word, the middle there. Look, is the word Cadbury. That's stamped right across. So these come out of a Rolls Royce in the thirties, commissioned for Cadbury's, the chocolate people. I think that's absolutely amazing. And. Uh, that's that's all the amazing I've got there for now. I don't think there's any more amazing to come. You have a look at me tall wall while I try and find me other deliveries, alright? Here we go, we go up there to that, that old, uh, that greasy, I've done that the other day didn't I, I've, uh, do you know what, I'll put that up for 50 quid right, because I paid, I paid a little bit for it, took me a lot of work and I see them on there and they were selling for 30 odd quid, not done, so I thought I'll put it up for 50 because it's done and it took me many hours and I got some cheeky, some cheeky person sent me a message saying why is this so expensive if I was to scrap it I'd get two quid so I'm going to offer you 15 so I banned him from buying on that sent him a little message and blessed him I do do blessings because uh, you know I'm a no, I'm a qualified reverend no seriously I am I signed up to uh, what is it Universal Life Church just so I could bless people when they piss me off Seriously. Right, so there's all the old uh, Bemises. I'll have to do a better one. A better one of these fucking tall walls soon enough, because there's a lot. Anyway, and there's the torches up there. Look, torches. Don't forget the torches. Little marples in the corner. Gorgeous little marples, that is. And, you know, i just got random things hanging everywhere. Got a record in there. Got a little saw thing hanging there. They're, they're worth a lot of money, you know, these little saw things. And uh, there's my scales. Up here, checking stuff, masking tape. 
I just point out to people, I watched someone the other day, I'm not going to name the person, because, you know, it's not fair always, is it? Masking tape, I won't use this for painting, yeah? I use the blue at the minute, alright? If I use this, my paint will blur around the edges of the masking tape. So I use the blue when I'm doing spraying. And I'll get a cleaner, crisper line, okay? Sometimes I'll even use electrical tape for spraying. This is a bit of fun. Now I've got this. Do we know what this is? Ben's got hundreds of these, but I can't afford hundreds of these. So it's an 8 inch that end. It's a diamond cork horseshoe. And that end, it's a no inch, because... Uh, I haven't got half a jaw, but that's how I've had to buy it, alright? Because that's what I can afford, because I'm a pauper. Right, and then I've got a little, a little black and red one there. Yeah, I, I borrowed that off of off of my mate Andy Dad. In half good. I like watching him build conservatories and stuff. Does a lot. So that's about it. Alright, that's a bit of a tour there, isn't it? Yeah? You're always asking for tours. And then over here, I've got the, over here, I've got the fucking... Oh, I've got the uh, I've got the hacksaws. Yeah, there's quite a few hacksaws. At the council, I bid the other day on a war issue one because I didn't like the bloke I was I was buying it from. He had me over. Uh, what's the correct term for that? He fucked me over on something I was buying. So I cancelled all my other bids with the, with the person with the, with the idiot. Right. There's me graphite hanging up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, six graphites. I didn't know that many. Me glasses for painting. I'm doing. Intricate work because I'm blind. There's that rare Stanley hammer with the resin handle. All right, uh, go along a bit. I've got some old spanners we've got to get round to. Got some brick tool spanners. Got some clamps. Uh, got some good door. I'm waiting to hear from Jack Shed. Jack Shed, if you're listening, Jack, let me know what size good doors you want from there. Good doors, good doors. And then I've got all my big uh, pipe wrenches. So there's a big 24 inch Trimo, there's some Paramos, a record, there's a big old record leader 36 inch there, and then you know, there's some more 36 inches there. Uh, record leader, Trimo, uh, I think there's a rigid did 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 in there, Garrington's. So there's a lot in there, and then over here, I've got some of me, um, me Bemis and Cool S's. Yeah, and then my big-ish collection of rigid digits. And I think that's got back about the start. And me Hillmore pipe wrench. I love that little thing. That's, that's up for sale. I might take that off as well. Right. So any questions about any of these? Well, I don't know, because I won't know which one you're fucking talking about, will I? Alright. So there we are. Alright. Right. That's about it, isn't it? Yeah. So if I do that and zoom out... And then I can talk to you a bit. Oh, I don't know, because you won't listen to me while you're looking. Me. My favourite. Well, I don't know which one's my favourite, actually. I'm going to say the Grebe, because it's really unusual. Yeah. Uh, or the little Carl. Got another one in for sale if anyone wants it. The Lapwings, of course, are interesting. Got a little giant coming. Ben must have missed that. Don't forget your old, old very rare blue bulldog. Look up here. Uh, the Fabrex is over there because they're unusual. There's a snail. That's a snail on the wall. See that snail? Yeah. Look at that. That's a nice snail that is. It's a big old heavy bugger. And, uh, yeah. So, Abby? Questions? I don't, know if, I don't know nothing about most things. So, Right, there we are. Oh, and up here I've got some, some uh, spare stuff and... But, uh, I've got one of these coming as well in a box, Stanley Mint, new old stock. And up there there's a couple of PMBs, and I think, I think that's not a PMB. I think that's a, got a different label on up here. But, you know, I'll get round to it all, and I'll get round to it all. Right, so that's about it there. I've got a few, a few socket sets on here that I need doing. One, two, three, four, five, six, six on there that need doing, yeah. And here, of course, is all my stickers. Nobody sends me stickers anymore. Scoutcrafter one's peeling off. I didn't like that spray paint underneath it because it was red. I sprayed it and then stuck it on too quick, I think. So that's a dereliction, that one. And Ben won't let me have another one. 
He said one per customer, so there we are. Let me John fix one. I must admit, John fix. John, oh, I said sorry, sorry about this, Ian. You're right at the bottom and the head, and look, I've got to clear all this off. Um, John fix. I see your tool wall many, 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 many months ago. Right, see your tool wall, John. And well, you fucking inspired me. Look, this hanging up here, all these. It's your fault, John. Personally, I know I've got a lot of tools hanging up here, a lot of spanners, but if I could swap all these, John, for yours, I would. I think your tool wall is fantastic, Mr. Fix. Right, that's it, really. I'll have to stop recording now, because I've been going on again. 16 minutes, not quite long enough, but... Editing, stretch it, done it, doing about that. So, over here, right, I've got some brick tools on the other wall. I've got some brick tools here. Yeah. I'm sure I won a big old brick tool the other day. If I did, it either ain't come or it's uh, it's buried in some mess. Must have a clean up, as I'm always saying. Must have a clean up. Uh, what have we got there? We've got little wheel cocks. We've got some random stuff. King Dicks. How many King Dicks have I got there? Just the one. Uh, more Garretons, because, you know, we don't have enough fucking Garretons, can we? Garretons, Garretons, Garretons. And what are they? What's that one there? Can I read that? I have to read that through the phone, unfortunately. The, oh, Ridge. That's a, a, a rigid one. Right. There's loads. There's fucking loads. I'll have to get them down one day, but not now. Right. Now, how many 18 inch diamond alloys do I need? You see, this is back to the old thing again, isn't it? I've got so many fucking spanners, I don't know what I've got. Oh dear. That's uh, one for me, and uh, lucky I used to be schizophrenic. So I can have a spanner, and so can I. So I used to be schizophrenic, we're alright now. Wife wants me to see a doctor, a doctor. Oh, I don't really want to see a doctor. And she said to me, but you're mental. I said, well, mm -hmm. how do you know it's me? It could be you. Well, that didn't go down well, I tell you. Anyway, that's enough of that for now. Fucking it, doctor. Last one, you take tablets. But I'm all right unless I get a bit depressed. I mean, I'm happy with it. I I'm not happy with this blue vice and the damage because the way it was packed. Plank, because he packed the red one the same. Plank. I'm happy with me Cadbury's, um, what's it there? And uh, I'm happy with me little Garretons. Not happy with me spray paints. Fucking hell, I mean. And, uh... Not happy with the untidiness in here. Maybe that's affecting my feng shui. Oh, I say feng shui. It's the only F word I'm allowed to use, the idiot. Feng shui. Wife don't like me swearing. You know what I said to that? I said, uh, yeah, well, I did. So I'm going on a bit now, aren't I? Oh, I'm just trying to stretch the video out 20 minutes. Ah! I remember what I got the other day that's very interesting. But I think I've lost it. No, I've lost it. No, I've lost it. I can't even... T I'll, I'll tell you about that another day. Alright. Well, that's about it really, isn't it? Fucking hell. Uh. Oh, but I, also, I can't really tell you nothing else. I ain't like Scout Craft, I ain't got all them. Well, I've got stories, but I can't tell you. They'd be taken down and used against me as evidence. Um, I can't I can't do stories like Scouty. He's, uh, I think he's, he's wonderful. He's, he's born to entertain and he's born to teach. He's John. Right, well. Yeah. Don't know now. I'm gonna shut up.
bollocks. Right. Okey doke. Look at that. It's all gone rusty. I must have not waxed. I must have missed that with the wax. I remember that one. That was fucking terrible. I'll take that down and then redo it. And I'm going to get waxed over. I don't think these are even had rust on when they come here, these fucking um, mole grips. And uh, then these, oh, fuck, must be the change of weather. I haven't cleaned them, I haven't cleaned them mole grips, but I did clean, I did clean the record. Well, I'm really fucking waffling now, I bet there's no one left apart from Andy and Reggie watching me. Here's my spare springs for my record vices up here. No fucking fingers in the way, everything, right? Well, that's it. I'm gonna say, uh, bollocks. Bye for now. Yeah, I cleaned all this bench off the other day, it was spotless. Fucking amazing, isn't it? That was spotless. Well, not spotless, it was, it was empty. And uh, yeah, then I started doing the the fire damage voice. Yeah, that's it. Fuck off, boy.